What is going on, button pushers? Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to talk about five pieces of gear that I really, really love as a content creator. And I'm going to link them all in the description below if you guys are interested in purchasing any of them. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is David. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Before we start the video, drop me a comment below. Let me know what are some of your favorite pieces of gear. Do you have like a favorite filter? Do you have like favorite pair of shoes? What is it? Let me know in the comments and let's get started with the video. First of all, we're going to get started with the more generic kind of things that a lot of different creators can use. And then we're going to jump more into the film one for the last two. First thing I want to talk about is this awesome shoulder bag that I got. It's $20 on Amazon and it works really nice. It's really like spacious it's really easy to wear it's really lightweight and one thing as a creator especially when I'm traveling going on shoots and stuff I hate carrying so much stuff carrying things is my least favorite thing to do and having a shoulder bag that can fit a ton of things like batteries and even two lenses or so is really really good now I was recommended to buy this I bought it while I was in LA and I pretty much wore it everywhere I went because it could carry everything from my tiny accessories, an extra lens, some extra batteries, and just fit a bunch of stuff that I didn't have to carry on so many different straps because a lot of times when I'm shooting like weddings and stuff, I wear a double strap and it just gets really annoying. It gets tangled, it gets in the way. And you know, having a shoulder bag like this, super spacious, super nice, is really good and it's super affordable. Next is a film camera. So I love having a film camera simply because it's really nice to have, especially the point and shoots, not the ones where you have to set up all the settings. Having a point and shoot camera is really nice because I can capture memories in just a few seconds. I don't have to worry about framing. I don't have to worry about, you know, setting up the camera and getting everything right. It's just one of those candid moments where you just capture a picture and you can remember it. Just gotta go develop it. It's super nice to have. It's super fun to do. And it just adds a little bit more fun to the craft of shooting and just, you know, living life. It's just really nice. Next is my audio recorder. Now, I'm actually using that right now, so I cannot show it to you guys, but it is super nice to have because especially when it comes to, you know, shooting content, when it comes to getting audio and everything, it is super awesome quality, it's super lightweight, super portable, and it saves me in a tough time like one of the videos where I shot in Toronto where I didn't have any of my studio equipment or anything. I just pulled up my audio recorder, set up my camera, and the quality of the audio was so, so crisp. So, and you know, stuff like this is amazing, especially when you're traveling and you want to capture like nature sounds, sounds of water, sounds of, you know, the street and everything. This audio recorder, the H4N Pro is super amazing and it is cheap in comparison to a lot of other audio recorders. So for any creator or even just a general person who wants to go out and make a few YouTube videos or, you know, create content, those three are super amazing to have. And I feel like anybody should pick them up because it just makes life a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. So let's jump into the two that are more geared towards photo and film. One, the 200X from Aperture is one of my favorite lights ever. I use it on pretty much you know, anything I can because it is bi-color and that bi-color is really, really nice to have because that means I can make it warm light if I want to or I can just keep it cool. On top of that, super lightweight, super portable, and you know, it just it just makes really nice light. <laughs> That's uh, what, what else can I say? It's just a really, really good light. I've used it on a ton of shoots and it does really well and it has saved me in a lot of different situations where if I had, didn't have a good bi-color light, you know, I couldn't emulate the sun. I couldn't emulate making things look like it was golden hour. You know, it just helps really just make that image come to life. And lastly, guys, my Ronin S2 from DJI is one of my biggest workhorses that I own. I use it all the time on so many different shoots. And I feel like it is so much better than the original Ronin S2 because one, it is smaller, it is lighter weight, it does disassemble a lot better, and it just feels really good. An alternative to this is the RSC2, which folds up super, super nice. Like I saw it for the first time actually, while I was in Toronto, one of the filmmakers for the tattoo salon I was at was using the SC2 and it was just really, really nice to see how small it folded into and you didn't really have to disassemble anything. You just kind of like broke it down into a tiny little square. And those are really nice because they're super portable. And again, like I said before, I hate 
carrying things but they stabilize really well they make your work a lot easier and they're super super lightweight and portable so if you are looking for a nice stabilizer i definitely recommend the ronin s2 or the ronin sc2 depending on what your camera payload is they are really nice gimbals. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, drop me that comment below and let me know what are your favorite pieces of gear, whether it's going to be an actual filmmaking or photography tool, or even just gear that, you know, you like using from shoulder bags, you know, fanny packs, or even, you know, techwear or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep pushing buttons, guys. And have a nice day. Peace.